Like many Terran players, we have bases all over the map. As you can see here, our supply depots are blocking access into our base, preventing the enemy from closing with our siege tanks and allowing us to shell them from range. Inside our fortified position here, we're going to use our SCV to build a new special Terran assault unit. This is the Thor. It's an assault unit so large and so powerful that it's actually built out on the battlefield. Now it might appear that we are trapped inside our base. But in StarCraft II, supply depots can be lowered into the ground into a special defensive position that allows our units to path over them. And once we've moved through, we can raise our supply depots back into position to protect our siege tanks. Now you may notice that the Thor has some additional guns on his back. These special artillery attacks can be used against tough targets like this enemy planetary fortress. Like everything in StarCraft II, the Thor does have his weaknesses. This is the Cobra. This is a small, fast Terran hover tank. It can actually fire on the move, and it uses his powerful railguns to batter through the Thor's thick armor. Notice the Thor turns very slowly. That's as fast as the Thor can actually turn. It makes the Thor very vulnerable to this kind of speedy attacker. Now, in order to continue our attack on this enemy base, we're going to need to bring in some specialists. We really couldn't see making StarCraft II without including the Ghost. I hear that. I'm all over it. I'm here. The Ghost in StarCraft II is far more powerful than he was in the original StarCraft. I'm all over it. In addition to his personal cloaking field, the Ghost can use his sniper rifle to deal lethal damage to enemy biological targets. The Ghost also has access to a number of calldowns. You've already seen our nuclear weapon. Now we'd like to show you the drop pods. This special ability allows the Ghost to summon squads of infantry anywhere he wishes. As you can see, the Terrans have a number of new powerful units and some classic units with some new abilities. All of these add up into a flexible and powerful side that is more than a match for any of their enemies on the battlefields of StarCraft II.